Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing long-awaited pick a card readings and we're using tarot cards and we're asking the question, how can I be the best version of myself? How can I be the best version of myself? And as I mentioned, we're using four decks of tarot cards and we have the option, uh, option here one, and option two, three, and four. Go ahead and make your selection. You can go down to the description box where you'll find the timestamps, which will lead you directly to your reading. And so once again, we have the option one here, uh, which is your Itongo tarot deck. We have option two, which is your fifth deck, the fifth tarot is called. Option three, which is a tarot deck by Carl W. Ruiz. And um, yeah, option four, which is your Toth deck by Alistair Crowley. So go ahead, make your selection, and let's get right into the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, the Tongo Tarot deck, are we asking the question, how can I be the best version of myself? What do I need to do, or what do I need to actually think about right now so that I could be the best version of myself? Or what is the correct action for me to take so that I can be the best version of myself? And so we have the first option here um, that you have chosen, and the cards that we have are the Queen of Asgai, People of the East, and the caption reads Intuition. And we have also uh, King of Mavhere, Mav People of the North, and the card uh, caption is Morality. And we also have the Ten of Moritzoana. Uh, people of the West, and the card is peace. So I feel here as we go along, um, the action that you need to take in order to be the best version of yourself is to pay attention to your intuition, is to look from where you arise, from where you come from, from what gives you strength, from where is it that you are coming forth and into this world, what of it is you that you're bringing into this world, that you're offering to this world. And I feel like that is your starting point. And, in, and if you can do that, then you are more able to be able to give birth to your morality, to the right course of action, to the correct course of action, to the a course of action that's going to lead you in the correct direction and or to the correct place that you need to be at. And what underlines that, what underlines that way forward is your sense of morality, is your sense of what is just and what is not just. But you can't actually have that if you are not in touch with yourself and your intuition and you don't completely trust yourself, if you don't completely understand where you come from, who you are, what are you meant to be, what is your gift to the world and how is it that you're able to bring this gift into reality, into uh, uh, tangible means by respecting your own judgment and by being just in this world. It feels to me that like there needs to be a balancing of the feminine and the masculine in you to be able to understand what is it that you can bring forth in this world and how is it that you bring forth in this world that which is manifest but inspired by your intuition, by inspired with your divine link, by inspired by that which has your strength behind you so that you could put into action that is that of what is necessary. So the way to be the best version of yourself is to master that part of you which is your feminine and bring it in accordance and in alignment with that part of you which represents all that has to do with the masculine, with manifestation, with creation, with with giving outside of you, with 
uh, expansion. And I feel like it's bringing the two into sync with each other that's actually going to be able to give you what you ultimately need, which are the building blocks towards bringing you to a sense of peace and and um, and working together, a sense of community, a sense of bringing to the, not to closure, not to the end, but simply forming the circle or bringing, you know, the um, bringing the circle closed in terms of being able to bring all of these things into peace and and harmony with each other. So it's almost like the advice that's given here is that if you continue, what you need to do is you need to draw strength from who you've been. And I feel like what they're asking you to do is actually to look back at where you've come from and understand your heritage, understand who you are, in relation to those around you and those that you've come from. And even if you have a strange relations with your family or with those uh, with loved ones, it's to understand who you are beyond these members of your family, beyond your mom and dad, but and beyond your extended family, but looking further, looking into your ancestry, looking at what is the energy that was held in your home, in your home line, in your ancestral lines, and how does that inform you today? And how can you tap into all the knowledge that has been gained and accumulated during this time so that you can actually have that stand behind you as you go along and, in, and help you to inform your decisions as you as you go forth? And I feel here that, you know, there's a kind of strength that comes manifest, that comes into being. It's like you have strength with your hands, you have strength with being able to do things, being being able to affect things. And the only way that you can have that strength or the only way that you can be led to the strength is if you allow yourself to access your strength from within. If you access the strength from within and it's almost like you're going to be manifesting things or making things, bringing things into creation simply by your thoughts or simply because you've decided already that you're going to do it and it's going to be able to come into being. And I feel like this is the first step in terms of leadership, the leadership that's required for you in order for you to be able to create what it is that you need to create. There's also a sense here of bringing people together, working with people, each having their own role, paying attention to what needs to be done, paying attention to the seasons, paying attention to uh, what has to happen in terms of the community, what is best for the community, how to bring everyone together uh, to bring everyone forward and to benefit each one of us and it's about up to you to decide how to do this and so moving away from being more self-interested or individually focused rather than uh, rather than doing that but moving towards being more concerned about the community and all of those involved uh, and taking care of the 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 best for everyone, making sure that everyone's needs are being taken care of and ensuring that in the community that everyone plays a vital role, that everyone has something to offer to one another. And you might say, well, you know, I don't have anything to do with the community or I don't really have anything to do with creating a community and what I'm trying to do has nothing to do with that. But I feel like here, if you go about your daily life and you see the value of people and you see the value in what they do, then that's the first step in in that. Um, it feels as if you're going to come to a place of satisfaction or happiness having done that. And that that is actually going to be quite beneficial for you in the long term. And that is the role or that is the path that you need to that's the role that you need to play, but that's the pathway that you need to take in order to be the best version of yourself. So just to round that up, it's it's about you being able to access your intuition, going deeper, going backward, going looking at where you've come from and what you represent in this life in accordance with your ancestral lines as well as what your gift is here as a soul, as a being. And then being able to uh, bring forth that and uh, use that intuition, use that strength, that knowledge, that wisdom to inform whatever you're doing um, that is manifest in this world that's here on a physical level and and being able to bring all of that together, master the masculine and the feminine, bring it into balance in order to be able to give forth your contribution in terms of your, your community and also perhaps um, 
tapping into what it means to be a leader of a particular community or guiding a particular community and seeing how everyone works together and everyone uh, slowly, day by day, contributes, makes a contribution to the betterment of all concerned, for the greater good of all concerned. And I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that's been a helpful message for you. And I hope that it's answered your question and at least has given you something to think about. So very many blessings to you all. And I'm wishing you all very well. And for those of you who've chosen the second option here, which is the fifth tarot, that's the name of it. It's called the fifth tarot. We're asking the question today, how can I be the best version of myself? Or what is it that I need to do to be the best version of myself? Or what is standing in the way of me being the best version of myself? So what is it that I need to do to get to that space? And we have the first card here, which is your five of feathers. And it's the it's card titled Joy. It's in the reversed position. And we have also the Ten of Stones, uh, a card titled Sacred Ground, and now we have the Initiate of Feathers. And I'm just going to go in for one more card here, and we have the Apprentice of Shells. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number two, it looks to me here like there's a need to walk away from competitiveness or to compare yourself to others. There's a need to be um, more agreeable with those around you. There's a, a need to walk away from comparing how far you've come or what you have in relation to others. And there's a need to get along with others. There's a need to find common ground as opposed to uh, object against each other because of some arbitrary ground. There's also a sense here that uh, what needs to, to take place is um, a kind of appreciation of the blessings that you have. So looking at all the basics that you have in your life right now, all the essentials that you have in your life right now, and be thankful for that and be grateful for that. And once you've done that, once you're able to look at all that you have and be grateful for it and not compare oneself to others or not actually try to be better than you are. There's a sense here that with that comes some understanding of wisdom, some understanding of how things need to be, some understanding of, of what the next steps need to be. It's like these cards are saying to me that, you know, you've come so far, you've built so much already, um, you've used uh, others and others have helped helped you to come together um, in a good way. You know, there's been contribution from all around you and you've gotten to the stage where with teamwork or with a community or with um, togetherness, you've built something and now is a time where you can actually take a moment to, to feel gratitude for that, to feel happy about that and look at how you can all enjoy this together and not sow any seeds of uh, distrust or um, division between people or between members. And perhaps that's not something that you see yourself doing, but perhaps it is something that without you, realize that you realizing that you're doing this, it is a, a product of something else that you're doing. So I would say take a look into that. And it's, it's as if the the reward for having done that is or or the reward rather for having uh, taken the time to to understand how, how the dynamics come together and just to appreciate everything until now um it's going to give you some like degree of enlightenment or some kind of understanding some kind of wisdom comes through some kind of penny dropping happens at that moment and you you actually uh, find yourself in a space that is far more sacred and far more valuable than what you have experienced until now. And it seems here like this wisdom, this enlightenment, this penny drop, um, this moment that you receive, which helps you um, to understand things 
differently or look at things a little bit differently from the way you've looked at it until now is actually going to be something that leads you to be able to go uh, on or begin on a more innocent journey and help you to discover what is really valuable, what is really truly worthy in this life. And it's as if they're saying that everything else is a distraction. Everything else is something that's been uh, distracting you. It's not really important. And to be the best version of yourself, what you need to do is firstly be able to appreciate all that you have right now to stop the rat race or stop being rather um, in a competitive mode with regard to other people or stop comparing yourself to anyone else at all. And then what you need to do from then on is just let yourself be led. And with that comes a realization, with that comes this wisdom that you need. And, and from that point on, you're free to be able to discover, you're free to be able to understand what is truly worthy, what is truly important, what is truly love, what is truly beautiful. And and I feel here that, you know, you're going to be quite surprised at how light and how easy your life can actually be if you are to embark upon this path and you are to choose a path that is... Um, you know, the best, the best version of yourself, as they put it out here in this reading. So I've noticed that uh, my camera keeps uh, adjusting its focus, and I apologize for that. That might be quite annoying. I don't know why it's doing that, and I've, I've tried now to correct it, but it doesn't seem to, to be responding. Uh, so I apologize for that. Um, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit more about this uh, reading, you know, it seems like the way the way that you need to start off is by uh, um, looking at your 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 spiritual relationship, looking at your divine relationship, looking at that aspect of yourself, that part of you that connects to spirit or greater goodness, whatever it is, however it is that you process that, and and from there on, um, what's going to facilitate that or that journey, that path is actually just being able to um, show and feel deep gratitude uh, for all that you have right now. So being able to understand that everything that you have right now is a blessing. And so that it brings you from the spiritual to the material. And then I feel like uh, as you go ahead, it's actually taking you back into the spiritual, it's taking you back into this recognition, this kind of um, penny drop uh, moment that you're going to have is... A d divine guidance it is uh, you know it's like information that's channeled to you and so that you can use that uh, to to advance yourself to understand something or just to come to a kind of realization to close some doors or something like this and um, and then the way it shows to me is that you it's not ultimately about your spiritual relationship or about your material relationship but it's really about love so you know the best version of yourself is that part of you which is loving, is delighted, is innocent, is able to approach life with a, a wonder. And, and this is what is uh, going to be, when you find yourself at that point, that is when you're living the best version of yourself. And to be able to get to that point, it requires um, a certain outlook in terms of your material life and also just being able to um, ponder a little longer on that uh, which you uh, describe or understand as your your spiritual journey, your spiritual path. So that is um, your your reading for today. That is the that is your an the answer to your question. How can I be the best version of myself, or what action do I need to take to be the best version of myself? And I hope that. This reading has helped you and I wish you many, many blessings as you go along. Okay, just let me finish this. And so for those of you who've chosen the third deck here, we're looking at Carl W. Roig's uh, tarot deck. And uh, this is a, these cards are pretty large. They're not the easiest to, to shuffle. Um, yeah, a bit too big for my hands. They are rather nice cards though. They're very expressive. And, um, yeah, the cards have quite a different meaning uh, to most uh, tarot decks. So the author intends the meaning 
to be quite different from the usual um, deck of tarot cards. So I feel these cards are not complete. I'm going to give the cards another shuffle and see what comes out. There we have freedom. And so we have here the equivalent of the Queen of Pentacles. We have the equivalent of the Six of Pentacles, the equivalent of the Six of Wands, all reversed. And then we have the equivalent of the Two of Swords, and that's upright. And the way I would read this is that you would be at your best. You will be the the best version of yourself. How can you the the way to reach the best version of yourself is to be able to uh, balance the good with the bad. Now you might not necessarily like it. You might not necessarily find it to be easy. It qu can be quite a challenging process for you. But at the same time, to find the balance between that which is good and that which is bad, that which is exciting and that which is horrendous. It's like to find a middle ground and to be in that middle ground through all of the roller coasters that life bring you. And this is going to help you be the best version of yourself. I feel here that or you know, or some of your your habits perhaps need to be looked at or they the cards allude to that. So perhaps there's some degree of overspending or some degree of um, not being able to really see your success when you have that, that success, not being able to recognize yourself, not being able to um, to just give yourself the, uh, the you know, the, the, the joy that would normally come from being successful, not being able to recognize yourself or, your, your, or what you do. And I feel here also that... Um, you know, there's a there's a way in which you can address matters, or a way in which you can attend to things, which can be quite, um, you know, forward moving and creating quite a quite a stir. It might be very effective, but in the same at the same time, it might ruffle quite a few feathers, and so you might find yourself quite often in a situation where others don't necessarily see your point of view as easily as they could and I think that if that is uh, relevant to you if that resonates with you I feel here that the the message is that you need to actually just you know walk that middle ground don't pay attention to too much to what others think and what how others find you or how others perceive you and just simply go on your own way and do what serves you as an individual and 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 in that you will find your peace it's almost as if there's quite a lot of chaos around you and you know that chaos might be from things that others do to you but they're also highlighting that these are some of the things you do to yourself or this is where you are not able at this point in your life to be able to feel that um harmony in yourself and it might be that you you find um, problems quite easily in in things, or you you find it difficult to trust somewhat, and uh, it it shows me here that if you were to be able to balance all those emotions that you have, and and just be able to walk that middle ground without too much of um, emotion attached to it, that you will be able to find the peace that you're looking for. You would be able to be the best version of yourself, and so. You know, just bring yourself into balance. Just gently pull yourself back into balance. And, um, you know, that might not be the end all for you. You know, I think that here it's almost as if the first step is towards freedom. Or not freedom, sorry, freedom and, and Deutsch, but it's uh, peace. You know, the the first, your first step is towards peace. And after that, it feels like there are many more journeys or many more paths after that that help you uh, go further and, and evolve as an individual. And it feels to me like there's, there's a long way for you to be able to go and a long path in which you can develop and understand various versions of yourself which 
allows you to be the best version of yourself at a given moment and that you will go through many different experiences still in your life which will um, change you or which will inspire a different version of yourself and I feel that that is also highlighted in these cards. It seems to be here as well that there's quite a concentration on material well-being or your finances or living a life of comfort and it feels to me like there needs to be less of a concentration on that in order for you to feel happier. There needs to be um, less, a less of a concentration on, on spending. It feels to me like you could, you know, um, not spend as much as you do at this moment. And even through that, you find the best version of yourself. You find that you, you have more peace in your life or more well-being in your life. And I feel here that another message that's coming across um especially with the six of wands reversed, is that, you know, you might be on target. Um, you know, both these sixes, the six of pentacles and the six of wands, it shows me that you can be on target, you can be successful, and you can actually make great headway in your life, but you may not be able to hold on to it. You may not be able to, it might be, you know, quite easily slip away from you. It might be out of your reach quite more often than it is within your reach. And but you have this great potential to be able to create that wealth, to be able to create that effectiveness. That um, you have the motivation to be able to do what it, you need to do to be productive in your life. And it feels here that um, one of the things that might be inhibiting this in you is that maybe you make quite an impu impulsive decisions, or maybe you 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 speak out about something that you might be upset about too quickly without internalizing it without actually taking some time to think about how that messages how those messages might be received and if you feel that this resonates with you then i think that is something that you that needs to be considered as you go along because you can be the best version of yourself if you measure your words a bit more or if you um, cut back on your spending if you recognize your successes and your achievements and and give yourself the due um recognition and, and praise and pride in, in yourself and I feel here that you know just uh, also just pulling yourself a bit together just tightening your belt a little bit um, is going to help you as you go along even if it means even if you are in a capacity where you're managing people or managing uh, the finances of other people it's going to help you if you were to tighten your belt a little bit or if you were not to spread yourself too thinly and not to to uh, waste it too much or not to not to waste it all actually but to understand and identify where there could be waste in your life and where you can cur curtail that and i think that is going to be an important part as well in terms of being the best version of yourself so just to round this up i think that uh, to be the best version of yourself you need to be a bit more, perhaps not, um, you know, you could still be decadent, you could still be hedonistic, you could still be all of those things that you may, may desire to be, but you could just be a bit more frugal or, or just uh, curtail waste and um, recognize your, your achievements and when you've done well. Take a moment to celebrate that. Take a moment to, to look back at your life and see where you've come from and what odds you've met until now and how have you dealt with it and you know look at where your your capacity as an individual has helped you has led you to uh, being able to come out of those situations and provided you with um, more possibilities in your life and i feel here that if you're able to do that as well as uh, just also as i mentioned earlier measure your words when you speak to people or don't respond too impulsively that you are going to be able to walk that fine line of balance and, and be at peace with yourself. And that is going to be ultimately the best version of yourself. All right, so I'm going to leave that there um, for you. And I'm wishing you many, many blessings in your path. And good luck with all of that. And for those of you who've chosen the fourth option, I'm using the Toth deck uh, by Alistair Crowley. Um, and I'm just going to spread it out and pull out some cards which I feel uh, are the answer to the question that we're asking today. 
and um, yes this is not a deck that I use regularly and that is a card that I actually um, I know that it's not one of the tough deck cards but I like to keep it in the in the reading as a wild card kind of like a trump card and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and um, and choose another option um, yeah just to complement that card or just to see what that card could be telling us and so uh, I've just done that and um, yes so let's get on with the reading So for those of you who've chosen the option number four, I, as you've noticed, I've kept the wild card in there. And this is an extra card that actually comes in with a deck. It's not considered one of the Toth deck uh, cards. But I like to keep it in because I feel like it's, uh, it represents a card of magic. It represents a card of being able to do anything. And I've, caught, I've uh, pulled a card, uh, which is your three of ones here, which basically... Um, is is talking about what this card represents or what where is it that that energy is based so let me begin with the reading i feel here that in order to be the best version of yourself it is important to bring to completion projects that you might have begun or bring to an end things that have been in the past that you need to let go of it might be that you need to bring closure to a particular relationship or it might be that you need to bring closure to a particular part of yourself which feels unfinished which feels undone it might be that you may have started up uh, particular relationships with people in the past which you've not um um, felt that there was an ending to or some closure to or you may feel like you need to connect with somebody from the past it might also be that you've begun projects which you need to revisit and uh, to bring closure to or it might just be that there are certain traumas or certain ideas that you have about yourself that need to be finished and put away and closed um, and put behind you and and that is going to be how you're going to be the best version of yourself that is what's going to help you be the best version of yourself and it shows me here that in order to be um at the you know in order to be successful in order to be happy in order to feel the most amount of joy and bliss in order to be the best version of yourself what it is to, that you need to do is bring um to end to bring to completion projects or 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 relationships or aspects of yourself that need closure and I would say that it's important to identify where is it that you need closure where is it that you, there are still some loose uh, strings which need to be tied up which need to be brought to an end a natural end not something where you're going to be cutting off any relationships or something like that but rather just where um, you perhaps know that you need to be in contact with somebody who has meant a lot to you in the past, but you've been avoiding that. Or perhaps there's something that you've begun uh, and that you haven't been able to bring an ending to because it's been too hurtful or there's some kind of blockage as far as that is concerned. And this, these cards here are talking about actually making sure that you can uh, do that. And it, it, there seems to be a kind of overriding energy here, which... Um, where it's almost like you you kind of could feel down on yourself or you could despair as a result of not being able to bring those projects to completion, of not being able to bring closure in your life in some areas. And that is something of, um, it kind of eclipses the way you see yourself. And it's these cards are saying to me that if you want to be the best version of yourself you need to change the way in which you perceive yourself you need to not see yourself as perhaps a loser or a failure or perhaps those are a bit too harsh words that i'm using but somebody who you who has disappointed yourself maybe if there's any sense at all that you feel that you might have disappointed yourself well it's time to bring closure to that to leave that behind leave that in the past in order for you to be able to go ahead and feel the bliss that really awaits you, that really is yours uh, for the taking. And I feel here that, you know, this card, I leave it in the deck and allow it to be shuffled through because I feel it's a wild card, it's a trump card. It It's something that, it's almost like bringing luck and it, it shows you where there can be magic in your life. And it, for me here, um, 
the clarifying card for that was the three of wands and i feel that there is a great uh, possibility of being able to bring uh, a great deal of joy in your life a great deal of uh, fascination in your life uh, as far as being able to create something that's new as far as being able to get your hands dirty into something new so if you're thinking about buying a house or moving to a place and it requires renovation then you are going to actually be quite successful at that and that's something that you should give a try to it might not suit your personality it might not be something that it necessarily defines who you are but if you are willing to take that risk as far as that type of thing is concerned where you're willing to get your hands dirty now this i've just given you an example of buying a house that needs renovation but it could be a project that needs to be cleaned up it could be some books that need to be cleaned up, some some accounts that need to be done, some tax work that needs to be uh, handed in and something that to that effect which is a little bit messy right now but what requires you to take a look at one more time in order for you to build upon it so this is uh, it's like there's two different energies here there's this energy of being able to close everything else up so that you can focus on this and this is where the magic is going to happen and that's the way i read uh, these cards and i feel that that is where you're going to be able to find your joy and find the best version of yourself it's when you are able to build upon one thing and be able to focus upon one thing and i think here um it's almost like you, there's like too many um things in your mind there's too many thoughts in your head it could be that you have too many fires going uh, your hand in too many different parts and what you really need to do is just draw that energy back to you um close things up and just hold that energy for yourself and feel the satisfaction that you have. Feel that deep sense of uh, fulfillment that you have as a result of having achieved what you've achieved so far and not see yourself as a failure, not really see yourself as somebody who's disappointed yourself in any way or form, but see what you've done so far as a, as a celebration of all that you've been in your life. And if you can do that, then you can be the best version of yourself and one more thing with regard to this when you are the best version of yourself things are going to work out magically it's as if a direction that you've chosen a path that you've chosen it just kind of falls into place and it has an energy of its own uh and it that kind of um you know allows it to spring forth and and be successful and so there isn't a sense here that that uh, you're lacking in luck or that uh, fate or karma hasn't dealt you a good set of cards it's actually a sense here that whatever despair or disappointment that you might be feeling about yourself about your circumstance about who you are is something that has been created by you uh, and that you can actually release that and you know you might have felt that way for very good reason at the time and and i'm not negating that and i'm not belittling that in any way but it these cards say that it's okay to kind of let go of that perception that you have about yourself that's not feeding you that's not celebrating you that's not really understanding of your power of what you've achieved until now and of who you really are and if you were to just bring closure to all of that then you would be able to begin something anew and you would be able you'd have the power of the universe behind you and that's what i think that this card is that's what um i feel that this card is it's like this this magic that can happen that can be created the magic of the universe it's like you can tap into that and i always feel very lucky when i use uh, i do a toss a card uh deck reading for myself and and i get this card in the in the in the spread i always find that there's a space for it there's a meaning for it and this is why i use it and i'm sure that some of you are quite critical of that and uh yes you you're welcome to your opinion as far as that is concerned but here i just feel as far as you're concerned you are going to be in quite a fine position that you have a lot going for you you have a lot that you could um, bring to completion and a lot of satisfaction that's awaiting you and even more than that you have the support of the universe to be able to create something new where you want to put all your energy behind that one single thing and i feel that any despair or any disappointment that you might have in yourself is just not necessary it doesn't belong to you anymore and it's okay to just let go of that 
And so I'm going to leave you there. I feel that that has been uh, the message that you've needed to hear today. And that is how you can continue to be the best version of yourself as you go along. And I hope that these readings have been helpful for you all. And uh, I hope that you can actually go along and be the best version of yourself. And I wish you many, many blessings. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.